In this video, I will show you how to use Kitchener Stitch to join the end of the toe of your sock. We're using a set of 2.5mm or US size 1 double pointed needles and one of the gang's kind of magic yarn in perfect purple. You'll also need a tapestry needle. Let's get started. Once you've worked the final decrease of your toe, it's time to reposition your stitches so that you're ready to kitchen a stitch your toe together. So what you're going to do is slide the needles like so, so the stitches are right close to the end. And then you're going to transfer the stitches from this needle onto this needle. And slide them as if you were to purl them and that stops them from getting twisted. So now you can get rid of this needle, you don't need it anymore. And now you're going to do the same with these two needles. So slide the stitches so they're right at the end and then transfer them so they all sit on one. And you can get rid of this needle now. And push the stitches along and you're positioned and ready to join the toe. So you'll notice that I've attached a contrasting colour yarn um, this is just going to make it easier to show you how to kitchen a stitch but when you join your toe you'll just use the blue yarn to make an invisible join. And when you're positioning your stitches make sure that the yarn is attached to the stitch on the back needle. So think of these needles as one and two with two being the one at the back. Now when you cut your yarn make sure you've got approximately 30 centimetres to work with Take your tapestry needle and thread it through, like so. Now, the first step is to take your needle and you're going to thread it through the first stitch on needle one as if to purl. Like so. Then take your needle and thread it through the first stitch on needle two as if to knit. Okay, now you're ready for the sequence which will form the Kitchener stitch edging. Take your tapestry needle and insert it through the first stitch on needle one as if to knit, like so. And once you've done that, slide that stitch off. Be careful you don't slide any of the other stitches off the back needle, like so. Pull the yarn. Next, go through the next stitch on needle one as if to purl. Now you're going to go through the first stitch on needle two as if to purl. And you're going to slide that stitch off. Take the tapestry needle through that next stitch on the back needle as if to knit. So the sequence you need to remember whilst working Kitchener Stitch is knit, slip, purl, purl, slip, knit. I'll show you again so that makes a bit more sense. So insert the needle as if to knit and slip it off. So knit, slip, purl. Now, purl, slip, knit. So insert your tapestry needle as if to purl and slip it off. Then insert it as if to knit.
and you're going to want to make sure that this join resembles a knitted edge. So what I like to do is work quite loosely and then once you've done a few repeats, go along and adjust it so that the join is nice and tightly closed. And you can see that they look like knitted stitches. Okay, so let's see the knit slip purl, purl slip knit sequence again. So, knit slip, pull on your yarn, purl. Purl slip, pull on your yarn, knit. Knit slip, purl, purl. Slip, knit, knit, slip, purl. Pearl, slip, and knit. So once you've repeated those steps until you only have one stitch left on each of the two needles, you're going to complete your Kitchener stitch by just going knit, slip, and you can get rid of this needle now, and then purl, slip, and bring your yarn through. So you can see you've got this knitted edge, and as I said before, I like to go quite loose, but you can adjust those stitches once you've worked them to pull them tighter so that the join looks neater, like so. And once you've done that, just take your yarn end and hide it on the inside of your work. So there you have it. That's how to use Kitchener Stitch to join the toe of your sock.